Well, at least he has someone to take him for a walk. Because I'm not doing it. Hey! What's up, my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Toys Alliance Archcore, Wolf Gary and Half Done. So here we are, and there they are. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here we have some lovely artwork of the wolf of the den on the top here we have archcore on the bottom just a rundown of what's in the box warning don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you we got some qr codes there if you want to scan them go ahead free scan on me you're welcome on this side we have wolf gary half dan on this side wolf gary half dan on the back of the box we have some obligatory product shots things and stuff and stuff and things and we have a, probably a bio that i cannot read and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Wolf Gary and Half Done. And uh, this is the next mecha in this Archcore line, which I'm quite enjoying. But yeah, we'll take a look at the wolf in a little bit. But first, let's take a look at uh, Half Dan. They couldn't afford a full Dan, so we're just getting half a Dan. That's all we, we have to settle for that. But uh, neither. It's probably pronounced half done, but, you know, half Dan is so much more amusing, so I'm going to go with that. But here is half Dan. And you can see a nice little figure here and uh, quite nicely detailed for the size. I'm wearing the bulkiest armor ever. That can't be comfortable at all to wear or move in, I'm just saying. But you can see a nicely done head sculpt for being such a small piece actually very nicely done nicely detailed and the armor has some nice tampographed details on them you can see it looks like it's kind of like spray painted on like dripping there with the red 701 you got that coppery color going on in there and you got the little bear claw 701 big old feet he's got a cape and everything with uh, 701 that logo on it. Oh no! Nicely, nicely done little figure here. Now, articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you get all kinds of wiggly waggly. You can look up, not much, look down a lot. Head can rotate, um, the arms can rotate. You can do a full 360, they can move in and out. You can move the shoulder pad up, get some extra movement there. You do have bicep rotation. You have. A bit over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You got wrist rotation. The wrists are actually on a ball joint, so you have some wiggly waggly in there as well. Um, you do have an ab crunch, which is nice. Waist rotation. Legs. You can move forward that far. You can do the big boot with that big boot. Back that far. Outward. You can pretty much do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. You have a double jointed knee. So you have a nice full range of movement there. And the feet are uh, on, I believe, a ball joint, like on a ball joint and a hinge, I believe it looks like it's in there, but you can move the feet up, can move down, you do have tiltage, and you do have rotationage, and the cape is also posable, as you can see, this piece can angle out, you can bring the cape out, the side draw on ball joints, you can splay that cape out if you want to, make it look like it's flowing in the breeze, you can pop things off as well, all things you can do if you want to do it. And for a quick comparison, uh, here he is with a, uh, a core class transformer, just so you can get a sense of the scale of this figure. Now he stands at about two and a quarter inches tall, so yeah, he's a little guy, but nicely posable and nicely done for being such a small figure. Now, as far as accessories go, um, he actually does have quite a few accessories. So he does have some extra hands. Uh, the ones that are on him right now that come standard are the uh, weapon holding hands, but he does also get a pair of uh, tiny little thumbs up hands. <laughs> You know, just so you can say, hey, good job, everybody. So he gets a pair of those. He also gets a pair of splayed open hands. The what I call no hands. Gets a pair of those as well. And he also gets a pair of pointing hands. So he can, you know, point. Because, you know, sometimes you just need to point. And the hands are on ball joints. You just pop them off, pop them on. So very easy to swap those out. Um, he does also come with 
some weaponry. He has a big old battle axe here. Uh, that dark gray with the blade done in gold. You can see the blade is the, the axe is like half his size, but you have that. You also get a little revolver, which is good for the size. Got some nice detail. You get a grenade right here, and you also get a horn because. You know, because, you know, hey, gotta rally the troops, gotta rally the troops somehow. Now, of course, you can have him wielding all of these weapons, but you can also store these on his person using this little belt piece right here. And what we're gonna do is actually, we're gonna take the cape off just so you can see things a little bit more clearly, just on pegs. So, this is going to plug into his, it's gonna plug into his butt. That's, that's where it's going. That's, that's where it's going. But just. That, lined up and just plug that in like so and you have a holster here for the revolver like that and you have a clip here for the grenade that just clips in like so and then you take the horn and the horn just clips in right there and there you have all that stored on his back and you can plug his cape back in and then for the axe, we bring in this clip right here. And you can just take that, just kind of clip that in like so. Or I think it's actually supposed to be the other way. I guess it really doesn't matter, but hey. And in, and that will just plug into this port here. Like that, oops. Of course we can pop things off because hey, popping things off. You stay, you stay in your home. There you go, you can have everything stored on his person if you want. Makes him a little back heavy, but you know, if you just get him balanced properly, there you go, there he is with all of his stuff stored. And that is pretty much it for Half Dan and hopefully someday he'll get promoted to Full Dan. And now it's time for the main event. Here we have Wolf Gary. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've heard it pronounced Wolf Jerry also, so I'm not totally sure how you're supposed to say that. But here's, I'm, I'm going to go with Wolf Gary because that's the one I've heard the most often. But here we have Wolf Gary. And uh, yeah, this figure is pretty cool. You can see the wolf man here in its vehicle mode. And I do quite dig the design here. I mean, you can pretty much see how the transformation is going to work just looking at it. But it's simplistic, but I think it works and it looks quite cool. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You can see you got that nice kind of coppery color, bronzy color going on here with the front grill. With what will be the paws there in wolf mode. Got some more going on here. You got the engine block looking quite good. You got some nice... Blue going on in there for the windshield. And again, you got some nice tamper graphs going on there as well. So you got a nice wolf symbol right there done in red. Even the rims are done in that nice bronzy, coppery color. As well as the exhaust pipes, you do have visible head syndrome. It's right there. It's, there's no hiding it, really. Um, these tailpipes here, you can have them angled like that. You can bring them up. I tend to leave them up like that, just so everything's a little bit more, you know, keeping in uh, line with the lines, so to speak. But you can angle those however you want. You have this part here done in a nice gum metal gray, nice and spiky. But yeah, there is the top, there is the bottom, it does roll. As rolling thing should pretty much ray for rolling. And for comparison, uh, here it is with Masterpiece Sideswipe. Again, just you can get a sense of the scale of the figure. And here he is with Frostlight. So you can see how these two look side by side and they look quite quite good together so there you go and if you want you can have half dan driving frost light you do have to remove his cape but he just pegs in right back there so yeah you can have him 
in the driver's seat if you want to of frost light although <laughs> there's no floorboard so he's just he's just flintstoning it but hey things you can do if you want to do it now as far as half dan driving wolf gary um that can't happen because it's too small there's not enough real estate there's no real estate in there really for that to happen but i mean you can totally have them like just kind of you know back here just clip his hand on and just have him holding on for dear life you know that's the thing you can do if you wanted to do it hey options they're good you know how it works you know, just have them back here, just like, ah! But that is basically it for the vehicle mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> he spins pretty well. Plastic tires, that's why he spins well, because plastic tires. But let's get down to the transformation. Now, transformation is pretty simple, as you could guess. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these side sections here, just extend them outward like so, and then you're just going to rotate these sections down and bring these legs out, and just get all that angled, rotate the paw, bring that up, second verse just like the first, just rotate all this down, bring the legs down, rotate the paw, you want to come back here also and flip out this section, and flip out the tail here, like that. And you're going to do the same thing on the front. Now, his whole head and neck section splits in half. And if you just kind of pull on this, you're going to split all this. So you basically want to put your thumb on these gray pieces here while you're doing this. Just pull that out like so. And just pull that out. And same thing. You're just rotating all this down. Rotate the paw around. Like that. And rotates. Bring down. Rotates. And then we have pretty much all of that going on. Then you're going to take this section here, bring this back, and this will snap into place. You bring these exhaust pipes back, bring up the wolf head. And there you go. There you have Wolf Gary in his wolf mode. And it looks quite good. It's simple execution, but it works. Hey, simple but effective, and I am a fan of simple but effective. It looks good. It looks good, in my opinion. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at that head sculpt. You can see nice blue there for the eyes. You got some metallic red there on the head. Teeth painted in a nice bronzy coppery color you get a little bit of riveting action right there as well i mean everything is pretty much what we've already seen in the alt mode just in a different configuration but still looks good you get kind of like a little dual tail tip going on there it's a nice detail there as well but all in all not too shabby not too shabby now articulation wise i mean you don't get any rotation just due to the uh the the combination uh transformation but you do get side to side movement you can look up can look down the mouth can't open and close very wide uh, front legs on a ball joint they can rotate and they can move in and out you have that going on you can rotate this hinge forward, back. You also have a hinge right here that you can bring up. Uh, the paw itself is on a ball joint, so you have wiggly waggly up and down. The hind legs, pretty much the same deal on a ball joint, full rotation, up and down, forward and back. You have that hinge here, which can allow the leg to move forward and back. You have the hinge there, forward and back. Paw, up and down, wiggly waggly, tail. Um, can just move up and down, and the dual tips here can also just move up and down. Now an extra accessory that we can add to the wolf mode here is we can add to this big old sniper rifle here. You can see done that dark gray with the barrel done in a metallic red. You also have a little bipod here, which you can bring down if you want to. And Half Dan can hold this as well, although it's, like, pff, way bigger than he is. <laughs> Pretty much almost as big as the wolf. But what you can do here is you can bring in uh, this clip. And this will just clip in right here like that. And you can plug it on to these posts right up here. So you can kind of bring these up. 
and that can just clip in like that. And now the wolf has some armaments, which is quite nice. And you can also flip this section back. Oops. And you can have Half Dan riding the wolf. Let's get him into a seated position. Get that cape out of the way. There you go. And you can hold on to that rifle. Hold on to that. I won't waste too much time posing, but you get the idea. You can have Half Dan riding atop his wolfy steed. And that does make for quite an awesome display in my opinion. Now there's something else that's in the box and I don't know what it's for. Um, you get these two pieces right here. It's just these two like double-sided posts. I don't know what they're for. The instructions don't even acknowledge that these exist. I don't know. There are these ports here on the sides. On either side here, I don't know if that's for some kind of connection for something, question mark? I don't know. It's not for weapon storage because none of these have ports, so I don't... I guess you can hang it. I don't, I don't know. I, I have no idea what these are for. Maybe one of you know. I don't know. If you know what these are for, please let me know. Um, but yeah, I, that's a mystery to me. Um, but you do also have some extra armament here. We can flip up these little panels and they expose some missiles some little shoulder missiles there so even more armaments for the wolf again looks quite quite cool so there you have that and now for comparison here he is with masterpiece side swipe again just for a sense of scale here and uh here he is with deluxe skids you know your kind of standard deluxe size transformer again just for that sense of scale and here he is with frostlight and now he has a pet look at him he has a pet now that's precious oh it's nice to have a pet so there you go but wait, there's more! There is one more thing we can do here, so let's get down to transformation again, shall we? <laughs> there we go. Get back here. Anyway, so you're going to bring the missiles down, and we're pretty much going to go back into car mode here, so just flip in the tail, flip that in, like so, and we're going to collapse the legs back up so rotate the paw around and just wrap all this around like so slide these back in there's a little tab slot connection right there to guide you and same thing just rotate all this around wrap all this around the wheel well and slide that back in same thing with the front legs just bring all this up wrap all this around rotates bring all this up wrap it around we do need to undo this section here which clips in it clips in very securely by the way there we go just have to kind of pull out the sides here it clips in from the sides and it's very very secure a little too secure there we go bring that up fold that seat back in get that out of the way and we're going to just slide these sections back in again like we're going back into car mode slide those back in like so and what we're going to do now is we're going to split all this in half split his head in half and all this is going to pivot back like so and they will tab together right here and what you're going to do with the halves of the head is they're going to fold down on this hinge. And you have a post and a port connection right here. So plug that in. Then you can bring this exhaust pipe back. And on this side, you're going to bring this down. You're going to use this tab that's on the bottom jaw. And that will go in right there. Plug that in. Then just rock that back. Then you can take this section and bring that back down. Clip that back in. And then you can open up the fingers here. Bring out the thumb. And there you have Wolf Gary in combined mode. 
He just becomes a big old hand, big old punching gauntlet thing. And that's pretty cool. I dig that. You can see some detail there. And the fingers, nice. Paint really pops. You do have some articulation. The thumb can move in and out. It can hinge up and down. You have a hinge right there. Um, the fingers, they can splay out. And you have a hinge there and a hinge there. So you have some nice posable hands. So what we can do now is we can bring in frost light and this section here will slide over this section on his forearm. So you just get that lined up, slide that down, and then you want to kind of open his hand up here. You need to get his fingers through this little handle here. Just angle that out and then you gotta get the uh, Handle it here, so you can get this in his hand, like so. Just wrap his fingers around it, and collapse all that back in. And there you go, now he has a big old power hand, because why not? Dare I say why not? And this will be part of the big, you know, super robot mode that we'll have once we have all of the components, but that is pretty cool right there. That is pretty cool. And the joints are tight enough. I mean, he can he can hold it up. He can support the weight of it. You know, the elbow works. The shoulder works. It can support the weight. So, all in all, that works out quite, quite nicely. Imagine getting backhanded with that. That would not be a good time at all. But it looks cool. It looks awesome. I am a fan. So... Oh, and also articulation-wise, you also get uh, wrist rotation. So, hey, even better. So, there you go. So, there you have Wolf Gary and Half Dan. And, uh, yeah, really cool. Really enjoying this line so far. Um, and, yeah, it's fun figure. Looks good in all, all of its modes. And, uh, yeah, just overall enjoyable to play with. So, very cool. Loving this line so far. Can't wait to have the rest of the mecha. I am thoroughly enjoying these so far. So. There you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Toys Alliance's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the ArchCore playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Toys Alliance Archcore Wolf Gary and Half Dan, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face! Oh, I am not having a good day. Oh! Hey there, little buddy! How you doing, fella? Are you lost? Are you hungry? You look hungry. Why are you looking at me like that? Ah! 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 Um, hello? Has anyone seen my wolf? He's quite temperamental. He'll pretty much attack anything when he's hungry. <laughs> <laughs>